I'm Preston Singletary and I'm from Seattle, Washington, working here at the Museum of Glass. This week I'm working on um, this bust, which will be incorporated into a larger sculpture. There's an example over here of this bust form uh, with the sort of the head and the hat, uh, something I developed for the show and made, actually haven't made very many more of them because it was so much work. And so they are ancestral figures, so just sort of bringing kind of like a human element into, um, you know, sort of this sculptural form. I'm going to take advantage of the, the larger glory hole and make some more proportionate bust forms. Friday, I'm having Dante Marioni come, and we're going to work on a few things together, our sort of ongoing collaborations. Uh, Dave Walters is going to help me working on these cylinder forms. Yeah, whatever you think would be good for firing. Yeah. Yeah, these shapes are the ideal shape to fire. Yeah. It's a, it's a way of working, you know, I, I'm, I'm very heavily influenced by modernism and, you know, Henry Moore and Calder and, you know, that whole modernist era. Um, and because in a lot of cases they were really inspired by, you know, indigenous art, Native American art, so I found that kind of fascinating. So I was kind of juxtaposing that and trying to take inspiration from the things that they made. Over this, you know, however long I've been working with this style, native style, it started in like 1988, and I really put my foot down in about 95 to develop it as far as I can. And so then I started playing with these kind of abstractions and sort of modern kind of a, a, a take on the traditional art. Well, you know, I started, you know, as a glass maker, just blowing glass and, you know, really into the process of, you know, blowing things and controlling the material as best I could. Um, but then when I turned to my cultural background, it, it really opened up a lot of doors for me, but I also had to kind of relearn, rethink my approach to the material. And so it really led me on this path, which caused me to think about things that were a lot more figurative and narrative, because that ties in with the mythology of the Tlingit uh, tribe. So then I started to you know, when I came up with the Raven in the Box of Daylight exhibition, which is traveling, you know, then that is, you know, was a big exploration into the mythology and the symbolism behind uh, the story itself. And then how could I represent that with objects and tell the story in this, you know, in this experiential way. Um, and now I'm sort of on to the next chapter, like, okay, Raven did all these things in ancient history, so what's he up to now?